Look at this beautiful valley. This is my hometown down there. And this is Nirvana exactly for me. Good morning everyone, this is Jamyang. And today I'm going to show you every single beautiful things down there at my hometown. Especially, I have lots and lots of my uncle in this hometown. And I was actually grown up in this small village. And when I was small, I love to go with my uncle to this stupa over there and we have a beautiful monastery over here as well and today I'm going to show you every single beautiful things of this village so let's go guys together that Oh my god, this is awesome. This is beautiful. I've been here like 25 years ago and I really miss my uncle. And when I was childhood, I was playing in his yard and I really miss him. And today I'm going to visit him. And by the way, by this chance, I'm going to show you how does the, how does the beautiful traditional homes looks like. Let's go guys. Ago. Manje yure ago. So this is my uncle. And now I'm going to show you how this beautiful Tibetan traditional homes looks like. <laughs> I have spent my childhood over here, so I can't wait to see is it similar before 25 years ago or not. So I also would like to show you guys how Tibetan village people lives like. So let's go and see how do they live like. When I was a child, I loved this bed. You know, I've, I've been sleeping with his son on this bed. I really, really miss that bed. You know, you see these beautiful carpets. I can still smell this. I really, really woolly, you know. I really miss this bed so much. And this bed were used by my uncle and his wife was sleeping over there, but which was already passed away now. So this is the living room of the family. See, so this is the stove. This is the dining room. The, uh, uh, like before 25 years ago, I've been sitting over here like this kid, you see. But during that time, we don't have the televisions, and they are pretty lucky nowadays because they can enjoy the televisions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every Tibetan family must have to have a praying chapel. And this is my uncle's praying chapel. It is simple, but it is really, really traditional Tibetan praying chapel. It's beautiful, you see. So, you see, this is his praying chapel. And my uncle is actually a really religious man and when he have like spare time he always come over here in his praying chapel and keep praying keep praying so this is one of his favorite to do when he have uh, free times and this is the storeroom 
in a village house. You see, uh, in early times, we don't have a fridge in Tibet. So that's why in a storeroom, we dry all the yak meat so that it will preserve for one year. Because in early times, we don't have a fridge, electricity in the village. And here, my uncle have dried the skins of a, a fox here. And we usually use the skin of a fox to make the uh, hat. So it will be a wonderful hat to wear it at the Tibetan New Year. And now I'm going to show you one of the most interesting things. That will be the Tibetan toilet, which is an open air toilet. You see in this hole, it's all shit down there. And we use it to fertilize it. So every month, once in a month, they will clean the hole again and they will use it in the field. But there's also one dangerous thing in this toilet. You see this nettle, you have to be really, really be careful. Because if you touch it, it, was, it will be so itchy. So that's why you have to be really careful, okay? <laughs> Before when I was a child, you see, we don't have this tap water. So my uncles, every morning he go to, to go near to the river and carry the water, which is really difficult. But now it is really easy. You see, he can enjoy water whenever he made it. Today, I'm going to help my uncle by this chance to collect all the yak tongues. Yak tongues, they were all already right so that he can cook on the stove tonight. That's the gate from the woman. Tarin <laughs> Tajuksa. <laughs> 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 Mm. 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 Mm.
Benjeram juga cukup kan? Benjeram juga cukup juga. Benjeram juga dewa pihat itu, lah. Tadi ni mah, so sembuh lagi kecil tan, jadi sih dua. Ini dia pergi ni suai aje, tu tu ni mana kau dua? Tiba sista mas taya semua. Here the heap of yak skulls and yak horns over here, and each of those yak horns, they have sculpted Om Mani Padme Hung the mantra, which specially means to kill the sin that we humans have made. For an examples. The yaks have given their full services of full, whole of their lives to us, to the humans. And finally, for us, we needed the meat from the yaks, so we killed them. So to kill this skin, they brought their yak skulls over here and they leave it, they leave it here near the stupas. And then every single day when the people make the quora and they pray for the yaks to have a better life in the future. Beautiful land with a beautiful and a holy stupa, with a beautiful accompany with my uncle. And now I'm going to visit my hometown's main monastery. And that also gives me a strong, strong memory back to 25 years. Look at this beautiful monastery over there. Let's go. Ya aku tak. Oh ya. Cuba cuba di sana tak. Tak tak ya tu. Yo yo aku. Oh oh tak. Ter. I really appreciate this beautiful fresh sampa from my uncle, and I really wish that every year I can come back to this beautiful hometown, and I also hope that welcome every friends from all over the world to my beautiful hometown. This is Cham Yang. Welcome to Tibet. Come to get an authentic and beautiful experience with me. <laughs> 